Okay, I like this kind of problem here. So, if we are given a compound and we have a certain amount of that compound, we might want to know the percent composition of it. Um, now, instead of always be being given 100 gram samples, um, instead you can actually take the mass of each part and divide it by the mass of the whole to end up with a percentage. Now, you could use, I don't know, let's say theoretically use one mole. Okay, well that's where your handy dandy periodic table and your knowledge of molar mass come in. So I'm going to assume that I've got one mole of sodium bicarbonate, or NaHCO3. Okay. First, I'm going to find the molar mass. So step one, find molar mass. Go ahead and write that out. So find the molar mass. So I'm going to put sodium, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. Okay, if I look on my periodic table, I know sodium's got a molar mass of 22.99 grams per mole. Hydrogen has a mass of 1.01 .01 grams per mole. Carbon has a molar mass of 12.01 .01 grams per mole. And oxygen has a molar mass of 16 grams per mole. Okay. In sodium bicarbonate, I've got one uh, sodium, one mole of hydrogen, one mole of carbon, and three moles of oxygen for every mole of the compound. and put my equal signs out there, 1.01, 12.01, and then 48. So the molar mass of my compound is going to be the sum of all of these, just like we've been doing. So the molar mass of sodium bicarbonate would be 84.01, which should be grams per mole. Okay? So if I have one mole, I should have 84.01 grams. <clears throat> Alright, if I wanted to find the percent composition of this, I need to see what percentage of this mass comes from sodium, what percentage comes from hydrogen, what percentage comes from oxygen, and what percentage comes from uh, carbon. I skipped carbon. Okay. So let me grab an extra piece of paper. And let's scoot this over a little bit so we can see. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a different color so you can know I'm looking for the percent comp. Okay. For sodium, sodium only contributes 22.99 grams for every mole. Okay. Out of the total... 84.01 grams for every mole. Okay. Hydrogen contributes only 1.01 .01 grams per mole out of the 84 grams per mole. 84.01, excuse me. You can multiply it by 100%. Okay. Carbon contributes 12.01 grams per mole. I'll go ahead and do this too because the units will cancel anyways. Out of the total mass. Okay, and oxygen contributes 48 grams per mole out of the 84. Okay, so I get all of these from my, basically, multiple steps of finding my molar mass. Okay, so now let's look just here. Okay, I'm going to find the percentage of each element. So I'm going to take the 22.99 and divide it by 84.01 and then multiply by 100. Okay, so... Sodium contributes 27.37. Go ahead and just keep it to two decimal places to be good. Okay, so 27.37% of sodium bicarbonate is from sodium. Okay, for hydrogen, I'm going to take 
and divide it by 84.01 and multiply by 100. So 1.2% hydrogen. So hydrogen takes up one or contributes 1.2% of um, sodium bicarbonate's mass. Carbon, I'm going to do 12.01 divided by 84.01 and multiply it by 100. So carbon contributes 14.30, so see that 5 rounds the 9 up to a 10, rounds the 2 up to a 3 percent of the mass for sodium bicarbonate. And then oxygen, so it contributes 48 divided by 84 times 100, contributes 57.14 percent oxygen. Okay? So this is the percent by mass of each element within sodium bicarbonate. Okay. And what I like to do to check is to make sure that my percentages add up to 100 or roughly. So you might sometimes get 99.99 or you know 100.01 or whatever. So um, as long as it's right at or right near 100 and it's not you know, anywhere like a tenth of a percentage off. If it's about a hundredth or so off, that's okay. That's just due to a rounding. All right, so I like to check my work, and I'm going to add up all of these percentages. Okay, so I'm going to put 27.37 plus 1.2 plus 14.3 plus 57.14. See, I get 100.01. I'm only one hundredth of a point away, and that's probably due to one of these guys being rounded um, higher than it needs to be. But I get 100.01. That's basically 100 for me, so that is good enough.